Let us now talk about the next capacity that is expiratory reserve volume. Abbreviation which is used is expiratory reserve volume, ERV. This means that after normal exhalation, if we can exhale some more, that volume of air which is exhaled after normal exhalation is called expiratory reserve volume. We have taken in the tidal volume, 500 milliliters. When we exhale, that comes out and then after that, if we can exhale some more air, that means that air is still there in the lungs and that is why it is called expiratory reserve volume. So to define it, it would be the volume of air exhaled after normal exhalation. And the volume which normally gets exhaled with forceful exhalation after normal ranges from 1000 milliliters to 1500 milliliters. And that is why there is a range. So we take an average of 1100 milliliters, slightly more than 1 liter. So this is the volume which can be exhaled after normal exhalation and the process is going to be forceful. The next volume which we will discuss is vital capacity. Abbreviation is VC. Now vital capacity, if we define, it is the maximum or forceful exhalation after forceful inhalation. That means what all is happening. Normal breathing, that is tidal volume, 500 milliliters gone in. After that, it will stop and forcefully we inhale more air. That will be inspiratory reserve volume. And if we exhale forcefully after that, that means vital capacity would include that tidal volume which has gone in uh, normally plus after taking 500 ml, if we are able to inhale some more, that means there is little more space in our air in our lungs to hold that air that would be called inspiratory reserve volume and now we are exhaling so what is coming out is the normal 500 milliliters plus that air which is uh, which was inhaled forcefully that is gone out and the air which is normally present in our lungs only comes out when it is forcefully exhaled so even expiratory reserve volume. This total would give the vital capacity. So <coughs> if we have to calculate the volume, this is 500 milliliters. Inspiratory reserve volume was 2000 to 3000. Everything is in milliliters and here we can take the average. All the volumes are in milliliters. So total would be, we can take a range. Here the minimum range that is 2000, 2500, 3500 approximately. So 3500 to, if we add this maximum, it would be 4500 milliliters. That is 3.5 liters to 4.5 liters of air comes under vital capacity. So definition wise, what would be the vital capacity? It is the volume of air forcefully exhaled after forceful inhalation. So how do we reach to this figure? We start with the normal breathing. We take in normal air, that is volume of the air called tidal volume. 500 milliliters go in. Then after if we have inhaled, we stop and take some more air 
that is called inspiratory reserve volume. That means after 500 milliliters, there is some space in our lungs which can hold more air. And that was 2000 milliliters to 3000 milliliters. Expiratory reserve volume was after we exhale. That means 500 milliliters is gone out. And if we forcefully exhale more, that means after normally 500 milliliters of air going out, some air still remains in our lungs, which is called the expiratory reserve volume. So tidal volume would be normal air taken in 500 milliliters, forcefully air taken in, that is inspiratory reserve volume, and then everything forcefully exhaled. So this will come out, that forcefully taken in would come out, and the expiratory reserve volume, that means the air which was there, that would also come out. So that is vital capacity. And this is how we calculate it. The next pulmonary volume, which we would discuss here is called residual volume. And as the name tells us, residual means what is remaining. And it is remaining after the forceful exhalation. Abbreviation would be RV. Volume of air that remains in the lungs after forceful exhalation. Forceful exhalation is going to pump out this much air. Normal breathing, 500 goes out. Forcefully, after normal exhalation, we can exhale this much more air. After forceful exhalation, also, there is some air that remains in our lungs. That means, even after forceful exhalation, some air always remains in our lungs. And that is known as residual volume. This is about 1500 milliliters. That means our lungs are never empty and there is always some air in the lungs and gaseous exchange is taking place. The next capacity which we would talk about would be functional residual volume. Functional residual volume. Abbreviation would be F. RV, functional residual volume. Residual volume means that air which is going to remain there. And functional means in general normal condition, how much is that air which is always there? In normal situation, we are just doing the normal breathing, normal inhalation, normal exhalation. That means the volume of air which goes in and out is 500 milliliters or tidal volume. We just now talked about expiratory reserve volume. When does this volume of air come out? Only then we are forcefully exhaling. In normal situation, we don't exhale forcefully. We normally take it 500 milliliters. Normally exhale that 500 milliliters goes out. That means this much air is also there. Plus the residual volume is always anyways there. So how much air is normally in our lungs for the gaseous exchange? And that would be the reserve or residual volume that is this plus this expiratory reserve volume. Expiratory reserve volume. Okay, let me just go over this one more time. Residual volume is the volume of air which remains in our lungs even after forceful exhalation. With maximum effort, whatever air we can throw out. After that also about 1.5 liters or 1500 milliliters of air still remains in our lungs. When we are breathing, we are normally taking 500 milliliters, that is tidal volume. So in normal breathing, 500 goes in, 500 goes out. This volume that means is still there because what was forceful exhalation? After normal exhalation, that is 500 going out, if we exhale forcefully, this much air even comes out after 500 milliliters. So if you are not doing it forcefully, 
you exhale 500 milliliters and what remains inside is this much. Residual volume is there in any case. So, how much air is available in our lungs for that gaseous exchange during normal breathing? The residual volume plus the expiratory reserve volume. So, how much is that volume going to be? This is, we will take this as 1100 average and 1500 here. So, 1520 approximately 2500 milliliters of air is available as a functional volume. So, these are certain uh, additional uh, pulmonary air volumes or capacities. Now, the next we would discuss is the total lung capacity.